Hello, I am recording on a new camera. Actually, I always recorded on my iPhone before. Um, I don't have an external microphone um, connected, so I don't know how great the sound will be. Probably not any worse than my iPhone was. Um, I do have like an ASMR podcasting microphone, but that's a whole other thing that I need to learn. And I want to do some trailer reactions before, you know, just to get them up because um, a few of them came out and I'm excited to just make some videos about them. So I'm still learning about the camera, but I think it's working. <laughs> and the light, lighting situation I'm working on, so I'm kind of just learning as I go. But um, Stranger Things season four, is coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, but I know that a couple days ago they released a trailer and I have loved that show ever since it came out. The weekend or the night that it came out, I remember watching it and loving it. Uh, so I will definitely be watching, I've seen every season, I'm definitely gonna be watching season four. I wonder if this is a flashback or what. It kind of reminds me of where Eleven used to be when she was in that facility. Looks like it's Papa. Good morning, children. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Door number 11? Today, I have something very special planned for you. Yep. Eleven, are you listening? That was it. <laughs> Hang on. Are there more Stranger Things? trailers because literally that was kind of anticlimactic yeah I don't know <laughs> um, that wasn't very long there wasn't a lot in there I'm sure super hardcore fans will be looking for Easter eggs um, yeah and actually I think in preparation I probably should go back and rewatch at least the last season But when is, I'm just going to give it a goog, <laughs> taking a phrase from um, True Crime Obsessed podcast that I listen to all the time. They, anytime they talk about Googling something, they call it giving a goog. Let's see. Stranger Things season four release date. <clears throat> First thing that comes up says it's unlikely that we'll see it anytime before late 2021 at the earliest. It's most likely that it'll be released in time of the first half of 2022. Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't know. So I guess I will combine this with another trailer reaction. So I want to react to... I think there was another Spiral trailer, or at least a clip, that came out. And then also... What's it called? The Quiet Place Part 2. I already have my movie tickets for those. Um, Spiral, I think, comes out next Thursday, and then a Thursday or two after that, Quiet Place Part 2 comes out. I've not seen The Quiet Place Part 1, <laughs> and the only Saw movie that I've ever seen is the first one. So I'm taking the perspective of that. I think that a lot of people would feel like if they were going to see these movies, they would need to get caught up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see how I feel about things um, as uninformed as I am. I don't know how valued that would be to anybody, but I don't know. I feel like 
probably the majority of people that are reviewing these movies um, are more familiar with the stories and have seen most, if not all, of the movies. So I might be making a bad call on that, but that's just how I'm going to do it. Not to say that I won't eventually go back and see all of the Saw movies. Um, it's not really my, they're not really, I have not been intrigued. When all these movies first started coming out, like mid-2000s, I remember going to go see Hostel in theaters, and honestly, they just all felt like snuff films. The first Saw, The Hills Have Eyes, that was when I questioned, am I truly a horror fan? But I think that there's varying degrees of horror, and for me, it's more about the suspense and the story versus the gore. I'm not about the gore at all. But when I saw Spiral was coming out and it had Chris Rock and another really great actor, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. I was really surprised to see that Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson were in a horror movie and together. Um, it, I, I, is this a first for them? I don't know, but that really intrigued me and made me want to see the movie. So let's look at... There might be other trailers. There's an official trailer that came out a month ago and then and then a week ago there was an official clip. So I'm going to do the official trailer and then the latest official clip. So. <laughs> oh god, it's a box. What's in the box? Is this like seven? What's in the box? Each time a package comes into the police office or the police precinct, you know it's not good. That's the guy from Handmaid's Tale. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? Oh, great. Now he's playing this with police officers. Oh, God. Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. Mm -hmm. Copycat? He's an executive producer? How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the boss, I can bust! You can't do this alone. Where have I seen her from? This has another motive. Something that personal. teenage show, Riverdale? When was the last time you saw your father? Oh, Samuel L. Jackson's playing his dad. Police officer father, police officer son? Jigsaw copycat. It's gonna go sideways fast. I'm a little spin like a spiral. All available units, officer down. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct. Spiral, 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 spiral. I need everyone on this case. Spiral, 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 spiral. Ah. He could be anywhere. He could be anyone. We're gonna tear this city apart. I'm a little spin. Wow, this is interesting. I like I haven't seen Chris Rock in anything, personally, myself, I haven't seen him in anything in a little while, so it's interesting to see him in something like that. Oh! Hello, Detective Banks. When was the last time you saw your father? Oh, shit. Oh! This is gonna be good. This kind of reminds me of... 90s police movies, you know? I'm so excited to see Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson in this. They're so such good actors, and I really think that um, it's gonna be good. So I'm very, very, very excited, uh, which is weird because I've, like I said, I've never really been into any of the Saw movies. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Quiet Place Part 2. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I did say that there was a clip from Spiral that came out about a week ago, so let's watch that clip. Official clip, you want to play games. Alright. Here we go. You want 
play games, motherfucker? <laughs> All right, I'll play. Mm -mm. See, that's what happens. You come a little too cocky. Some bad, some real bad's gonna happen. That's horrifying. Marionettes are just inherently creepy. Typewriters, creepy. Like, where did they even find that? <laughs> Nope. 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 Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if it's just because Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson is in this, but are in this. But I, I just, I just feel like this is a good old like this is like seven, you know, like good old '90s cop killer movie, you know, like cop like serial killer cop movie, like procedural kind of thing. So. I'm actually more excited than I thought I would be, so I'm very, very happy that I've already got my tickets for that. And let's look at, so as far as The Quiet Place,